This year, I'm trying to do at least one video for each chapter of the Cisco Networking Academy curriculum on the CCNA. Now, last week, we started Chapter 11, which is on IPv4 addressing, subnetting, and VLSM, variable length subnet masks. Now, last year, I did four or five videos on subnetting, so this year, I thought I'd do something different. What we're going to do is we're going to create a subnet calculator using uh, Microsoft Excel. So I've got an Excel workbook here. I've got my worksheet and I've just filled in the areas here. So I've got cells here representing an IP address, 192.168.10.128. So 192.168.10.128 and 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask. This is in dotted decimal notation and I've got each octet in a separate cell in Excel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this IP address and the subnet mask into binary first. And then once we convert it into binary, we can do a logical anding operation right here in Excel to find the network address. And then we can convert from binary back to decimal and we'll have the network address. Now we could change the IP address or change the subnet mask and our little calculator here in Excel will always show us the network address. And then we're gonna do a few other things over here, but let's just start with this. So first of all, I wanna convert 192 into binary right here on this row right here. So what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll say equals DEC to BIN or DEC to BIN, uh, decimal to binary, and then open up parentheses and the cell that I want to convert is A1 and the number of places, binary places or bits that I want to see is 8. And then I'll close the parentheses and press the check mark and you can see it just converted 192 into binary. 128 plus 64 is 192. Now all I have to do is just drag this over and it will fill uh, it will fill the same formula in each cell. And there you have it. There is the IP address converted to binary. And as you can see, if I change the IP address, let's say here to 20, it will change, it'll change the cell here. So that's pretty good, right? So there is uh, 16 plus four is 20, excellent. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna do the same thing here for our subnet mask. So I'm gonna do the same exact formula here. So I'll say equals DEC to BIN, decimal to binary, and we want to this time convert A2, and we also want eight bits, and check. So there it is, that's 255 in binary, and then I'll just drag the fill handle to fill that same formula across, and you can see that it works quite nicely. So now I've got the IP address and the subnet mask converted to binary. What I'm gonna do next is the logical anding process. Now the logical anding process basically is this. A one is a true and a zero is a false. So a true and a true should equal a true, which means a one and a one will equal a one, a one and a one will equal a one, but a zero, which is a false and a one will be a zero. And so I should see this anding process right here. Now how do we do that in Excel? In Excel, it's actually, uh, it's actually pretty easy. What we wanna do is there's a special function for it built right into Excel. And it looks like this. So it looks like this. It's um, equals bit and. So return a bitwise and of two numbers. And it tells you right there, a bitwise and of two numbers. Then in between the parentheses, we're going to be anding, we're actually gonna and not just uh, this uh, four and five, we're gonna and A1 and A2. So let's see here, at least this is how I did it before. So A1 comma A2. So we're gonna do a bitwise anding of 192 and 255. And, and if we do that and hit check mark, it gives us 192. Now this is in decimal. However, I really want to see this in binary because I want to be able to see the anding process in binary. So although this, this worked, the and, if you logically and 
192 and 255 together, you get 192, but we wanna do it in binary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this whole thing to binary. So what I'll do is I'll say DEC to BIN, so decimal to binary, and wrap the bit ending inside of this decimal to binary function. And we're also gonna to have to put in the comma eight because we're gonna to wanna to see it in eight bits. So it looks like this, equals DEC to BIN, and then inside the parentheses is our bit and, our, our bitwise anding, A1 and A2 and eight bits. And if we hit the check mark, you can see it's the same thing, it's 192, but now converted to binary. So a true and a true equals a true, a true and a true equals a true, false and a true equals a false, and it looks really good. So then I'll just distribute this. And now I have the bitwise anding of the IP address and the subnet mask giving me the network address in binary. The last bit is to convert it back to decimal. So right here in this cell, I'll say equals BIN binary to DEC decimal, and then the cell that I want it to do it on, which is A6. So A6. All right. BIN to DEC A6. And there it is, 192. And then we'll just distribute this with the fill handle. And you can see that if you are IP address 192.168.20.128, you're on the 192.168.20.0 network. Well, what if you were on the 172.55.201 network? You'd be on the 172.55.201.0 network. What if you had a fancy subnet mask and it was 255.255.255, let's say 192? Now you could see that if you are host 128 on a subnet mask 255.255.192, the network is 172.55.201.128. And that's because the subnet mask has these two ones right here. And when the and, the IP address with the subnet mask right here with ones instead of all zeros here, a true and a true makes a true, which gives us here a 128. A zero and a one is a false, and false and false and false, but you can see here this would be the network address. All right, so I'll just put this back here, 192.168, let's say 20.128, and I'll set this back to a regular Class C subnet mask. All right, now, the other thing that I wanted to um, point out here is that when you have a subnet mask that has something like this in it, and you have two, let's say, binary digits in the subnet mask, making a 255.255.255.192 subnet mask, right? The last octet in the subnet mask in binary looks like this. Now, when you do that, your networks will always go up by whatever the last bit in the, in the subnet mask is. So in this case, the last bit is in the 64's place, and if you had a subnet mask with this 255.255.255.192, the, sub, the subnets would start at zero, and then you'd have a 64 subnet, a 128 subnet, and a 192 subnet going up by whatever is the place value of this last one. And the place value of this last one is 64. So wouldn't it be nice to have a little calculator that could tell us what that magic number is, what that, that um, significant bit is? What is the number of this last one? What's the place value? Okay, if it was like this, it would be 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. So that would just, you know, that's what it, it would be. But we can make a formula here that will figure that out for us. Let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so what is that formula going to look like? Well, the formula that's going to look something like this. So we start off with a find function. And we say find the zero, find the zero in, find the zero in G2. We're going to start with that. 
find the zero in G2. In other words, find the zero in G2 here. And if I do that, you'll see it says three. So going from left to right, the first zero in this number, in this binary number here, um, the first zero is in the third position. So using a find function, I can find that first zero. Now what I'm interested in is basically um, converting, I want to actually find the one, not this zero. So essentially what I want to do is say minus one maybe. And so minus one, what if I say minus one here and I do check mark. So now I have two. So minus one, so now I see that the last one is in the second position. Now what if I change this and I say one, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, yep. It should say three and it does. And if I was to change it again, it says, it now says four. And so it's working. It's telling me where the last one is on the, in this eight bits, which would be, let's say right here, the last octet or whatever the last octet is. I want to know what the magic number is. Now, the magic number right here is going to be, right now, it's 16. It's 16. So we got to figure out a way of figuring that out, right? So um, basically, right now, if this is the fourth, fourth place, the magic number would be 2 to the fourth power. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So basically, if I say 2 to whatever the number, the magic number is, it should, be wor it should work. So 2 to the 4th power is 16. Let's test it out if we only had 2 bits here. So if we have 2 ones out of our 8 bits, right, the magic number should be 64. But 2 to the 2nd power is just 4. So that doesn't work. However... That number four divided into 256 would give us 64. So we're gonna change our formula slightly. So our formula is gonna to change to 256 divided by whatever the, we'll use a power function, power two to whatever number we find here. Okay, in this case it would find it would find here, let's see here, I've got that 256, and I've got one open parentheses, two open parentheses. Nope, I want to, I want to put this find in a parentheses also. There we go, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so there it is. So 256 divided by the power of 2 to the, in this case, second power, which would be four, and two to the fourth power would give us 64. Um, no, no, two to the second power would give us four, divided by 256 would give us 64. Let's just test to see if it works. There's the function. I'm not doing a good job of explaining it, but it looks pretty good. So 64, and if I get rid of this one and just have one, it should be 128, which it is. And if I, let's say, say one, two, three, four, five, six, six ones and two zeros, it should be magic number four. So now I have a little calculator where I can put in my eight bits and it'll tell me whatever the magic number is. And that's important for finding the networks. So for instance, if we have this type of subnet mask like we do right here, you can see that this address is a network address of 128. If I change it to 130, you could see that host 130 is on the 128 network. Well, the magic number in this case would be, the magic number would be 64. So the networks would be 192.168.20.0 slash 26. And then the next one, copy, paste, paste, and paste each time it would go up by 64. So 64 and then going up by 64, 128 and then going up by 64, 
192. So I would get four networks going up by 64 because of this little one right here in the, um, in the subnet mask. And let's test it out to see if it works. So if I was IP address 192.168.20.22, whoops, 22, I would be in the 192.168.20.0 network because it's 0 to 63, with 0 being the network address and 63 being the broadcast. So any number in between there should equal 192.168.20.0. If I change that to, let's say, 63, whoops, it's still 20.0. However, once we get to 64, between 64 and, and 127, it's going to be in the 64 network. 127 is the broadcast. And let's test it out. If I put in 120 here, you can see the network is 192.168.20.64. What about 128 to 191? That's the next network. Well, let's test it out. We'll go in here. We'll put 190. And you can see you're on the 128 network if you are 192.168.20.190. As soon as you get to 191, you're still in that network, but it's the broadcast address. I'm still in that network, but as soon as you get to 192, that's the ne next network, you're in the next network. That's the network address of the next network. And any number above 192 is going to be on the 192 network. So if I put in here, I don't know, 201, we're on the 192 network. If I put in... 251 were also on the 192 network. Now, why? Because a true and a true makes a true here, and a true and a true makes a true here, and 128 plus 64 is 192. So it's all about the anding of the subnet mask with the IP address, and these two bits here basically let you know that it's going to be a, a combination of 64, either 0, 64, 128, or 192, because you're either going to end up with 1, 1 with all zeros, or 1, 0 in all zeros, or, or maybe you could have a 0, 1 in all zeros, or you could have all zeros, and those are your four choices when you have two subnet bits. Whoops. Two subnet bits, which are these two ones right here. All right. So, we could say here, now, what? let's answer this question. If this was our IP address, 212-66-44-203, okay? And then we want a subnet mask that's slash 29. So slash 29 means that the subnet mask is going to have one, two, three, four, five ones in it. In other words, it's going to have... It's going to have a lot more ones. So first of all, the subnet mask. It's going to be 248. And that would give me, you know, that would be slash 29. In other words, and we might need to stretch this out to do it. Let's see here. I'll stretch that out to do it. Subnet mask, slash 29, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 24 ones. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 1, 2, 3. 30, 31, 32. So that is a 29 ones and three zeros. And as you can see here, um, I've got now 8, 16, 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 29 ones and three zeros. And it's 248 is the subnet mask. So, what is the subnet mask? Subnet mask is 255.255.255.248. What is the magic number? Well, it's going to have five ones and three zeros. So, I'll go put that here. Five ones and three zeros is magic number eight, which means the networks will go up by eight. So, if the networks go up by eight in this situation, and we are host 203, how do we figure that out? Well, 
we could say 203, we're, we're host 203, IP address 203. And what I'm gonna do is, I'll just put this in here. Hold on. Whoops, I didn't wanna do that. I want to left align this. 203 divided by eight equals 25. So if I say magic numbers eight, my host address is 203, and I say eight goes into 203 25 times, okay? And then all I gotta do is say 25 times eight equals 200. And so basically, you know, magic number eight goes into 203 25 times, 25 times eight is 200, and guess what the network is? 200. But you can see here, I'm taking the IP address 203, the subnet mask 248, anding them together, true and a true makes a true, true and a true is a true, false and a true is a false, so on and so forth, you get the network address, 212.66.44.200. And that is the network address, 212.66. Dot 44 dot 200 with a subnet mask of slash 29 which is 255.255.255.248 but now you've got a little calculator that could you could use you know you want to figure out the subnet manually but you can check it with something like this you could you know double check your work with something like this